I'm going to go do now is basically go get a free asset pack. MCO MoCap Basics is available for free. And one of the things we want to figure out is go in the description. Is it animation uh, mapped to the Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5 skeleton? So in this one, you'll see it says it right off the bat, Unreal Engine 4. So if you wanted to use these uh, animations, you need to be aware of that. Next thing you want to do is go get it. So we're going to add it to our project, which I called uh, Project Tutorial, I believe. You can see, by the way, the name of the project, wherever you put it. Um, so add it here and add to project. So let's take a not too long because it's a small pack. But if you buy an animation pack or whatever, it usually takes a lot longer because it comes with a lot. And the first thing I want to do is close this, go back to my content folder. And I always do this with my students is, OK, let's get a new color in here. Let's go with it since it's static mesh. Well, it's animations. Let's go with green for animations. And so I know this is a new thing. And but before I can come and use these, I want to set up my um, exo character so that he can use uh, those animations and uh, map them. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as if you recall, I told you to create a character, third person character. And inside third person character, you have the ee 4 mannequins and in there you have rigs so the two rigs that we're going to use are ue4 and ue4 to ue5 so what we're going to do is um, i'm going to go back to exo for a second i'm going to create a folder called rigs and like i told my students i usually if i'm going to be using this a lot let's give it a color so i don't get confused and i'm going to go back to my mannequin 4 under rigs and i'm actually going to click and click Control, so I have both selected. I'm going to move them, okay? And I'm going to move them to Exo Rig. But before I do that, let's just open this and drag them in here. If you make more than one, we'll make copies. But for now, oops, I only selected one. That was kind of a little boo boo. So I want UE4 to UE5 right now. That's the workflow we're doing. And so I go here, and I'm also going to rename them. Because if you make extra copies, and I'm just going to call this Accu Exo, okay? So that's for Exo character. And this one here, I'm going to rename it as well. Um, remove the Manny, and I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to go remove Manny here. Make sure you don't leave it. I'll write Exo at the beginning. Okay, well, there you go, exo UE4 to UE5. So the first thing I want to do is click on this character. And as you can see, here's your Manny. But we brought in our um, character mapped to the Unreal Engine 4, and his name is Exo. So we click on here, click Reset, click Save. So he's ready to go. We're going to close him down. We're going to open this character. And what we want to do is we want this character to map to our exoskeleton, our exo dude. So here he is, and looks pretty good. So we just like that remapped it. And what we're going to do now with this retarget is we're going to just we currently only have one animation. Okay, so we have a we have an error here. So let's see what did we do wrong. Um, there's a little glitch on this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get one of the animations that I brought in. So I'm going to go to content, MCO, and let's have a look what happens when I go here. So I'll just pick, I don't know, something in place. Um, how about this? How about this jog? Let's go like this. So what we're going to do is retarget this animation asset, duplicate and retarget. And what we want to do is use our exo UE4 to UE5. So it's going to retarget these animations that we brought into this skeleton. And right now I'm going to place these uh, in exo rig. I'll create a folder after. So let's just retarget and do just one now to do a quick test. And let's have a look and let's see what it looks like. So it actually looks perfect. So, you know, I'm going to just leave it like that. 
And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an animation folder. So I'm going to go uh, here and I'm going to go Anims Exo. And let's give that a color. Let's go with green. And I'll drag that one in there. And let's go get some more and let's test them out. So we're going to do a whole bunch of them. So let's say, let's pretend I wanted all of these for my animation. Just select them all. Right click, retarget animation, duplicate. Same thing. Go get the same uh, retarget IK retargeter. Click on it. Over here, we're going to go and select our uh, animation folder and click retarget. And let's have a look at them now. Check one at a time if you want. You can just go down here and you see it has a little bit like open. Um, but if I'm doing just student projects, this is way fine, like really good. Uh, and you know, maybe with a little more experience, we can figure out how to tweak that. So basically, all the UE4 animations that we got for free are um, there. So I want to show you what would happen if you use a UE5 animation, because then you're going to see it's really going to be broken. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to my characters under mannequins, under animations. This is an animations for Manny, who's the male character. And I'm going to retarget this one using that same retargeter. And you're going to see it's going to be very broken. I'll just put it in the root folder because I'm going to just delete it anyways. So we're going to retarget that. And let's have a look. This is how you know he's in real pain here. This is not good. So that means you tried to apply a UE4 to a, this is a UE5 and you couldn't transfer it to UE5 because it already is a UE5. So basically delete that. That's how you know you made a mistake. Sometimes uh, people get confused. I'm going to delete that. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go from UE5 to UE4. So if you have any questions, please let me know.